This is Melanie Wilkinson with YorkNewsTimes.com. I'm standing at the site of the former Atlas Missile Silo, um, which was located here just west of York, about five miles, a little bit off of Highway 34. Um, this site was an active military base during the 1960s. It's been deactivated. It's been vacant for 30-some years. However, it did leave something behind. This is also the source of the contaminant called TCE that's been slowly seeping its way towards the city of York in the groundwater system. Just today, we discovered that the Corps of Engineers had been monitoring the levels of the TCE. But what they're finding is that the plume has moved much farther, closer to York than they had planned. Uh, it's, the plume is about four and a half miles long now. No one ever expected it to be more than a half a mile. Cameron, uh, an engineering company that has been contracted by the Army Corps of Engineers, is actually on the site here at Road L. We are just north of the residence of Dr. Dave and Deb DeMuth. When they first discovered the contamination in the groundwater, everyone thought that it was only about a half a mile long. Well, the people here working today, the engineers say that they have now discovered that the plume is actually right here at the very edge of the city of York. That's something that no one really expected to happen as fast as it did. Uh, right now, they're just testing to see how far um, the contaminant is being detected. And once they can discover the actual area, they're going to try and rectify the situation. Again, this is Melanie Wilkinson from the newsroom.